So, welcome to Spotlight, the podcast that lifts the curtain on live here at the Grand Theatre Wolverhampton. I'm Tonya. And I'm Scott. And I'm delighted to uh, introduce our guests from West Bromwich Operatic Society. It is Tashika Ko and Nicholas Sullivan. Hello. Hello. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you. This is exciting. It's a pleasure to have you with us. It's really exciting because, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about lots and lots of uh, history with the Grand Theatre today. Oh, fantastic. Uh, And, uh, and of course, the show that you've got coming up. But uh, but let's let's start. (laughs) Start with the, the show. Should we start? Yeah, should yeah. we start with the show? That's start with the show. That's no, coming. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. What, what oh, okay then. I yes, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Actually, I love this. I love this because I'm with you. I was going to say, let's start at the beginning. Come on, then. Yeah. Let's right. go back. Move let's through. take it right yeah. back. Then. Yeah, I think let's it should end with the right climax back. of the show, so everyone knows about. <laughs> Wait for it. I love it. Let's start let's at the beginning. Let's start at the beginning. beginning, on, let's let's start start at the beginning I'll just do whatever you guys tell yeah. me to do. <laughs> <laughs> we make it up as we go along. But 19 th- we're going to go back to 1938 yeah. then. Let's go back right go to, yeah. to 1938. Not the year when, I was of course, born. Uh, oh. when, <laughs> 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 when WBOS before. When was formed, yeah. uh, of yeah. course. And, uh, and has performed in, in many regional theatres, but has found their home here at Wolverhampton Grand. Yes. So let's talk about your history with the, with the company then. So when, what, when did you start with the company? And oh, let's talk a little bit about the history of the, the company. I got her in. Wow. You did, actually. I got her yeah, in. I joined you West did, Brom. you oh. did. Yeah, yeah. I, I was very fortunate that um, a lovely man called Peter Davis, who's no longer with us, extremely gifted director, a wonderful actor, so I'm doing many things, but a great person. He actually rang me up and said, we're doing Chorus Line, Nick. We, would you, well, he didn't. He got someone else to do it for him, as he would do. Um, but uh, he, I was rung up, and I said, would you do Chorus Line? I went, yeah. Of course. Uh, of course I'll do chorus no line. No, no. <laughs> and um, I said, am I the 38th person you've rung? And he said, no, only the second. So I was quite happy. Yes. <laughs> but I got involved in that dream lifetime playing the part of Paul. Really got involved with the company. But I'm also a member of Bilston Operatic, who also performs here. And um, I am still am a member of that company. And I had to explain to them that sometimes there might be a clash. But actually, it's never been a problem. And I've been with them ever since. Oh, no, yeah, it's fine. I think I came... I came to see a few shows with you first, and right. so I saw you in the chorus line, and then there was another one, Titanic, oh. JCS. I'd seen a few, Titanic. and they were all incredible. Oh, wow. So I was like, Nick, I need a piece of this. Can yeah, you introduce yeah. me, please? I need to get into this company. So she came and helped to dress Belle in Beauty and the I Beast. I did, I did, yeah. Oh, I thought so I'd go through, through the back way. I went through that way, yeah, I did. Oh. I well, she did audition eventually, I but uh, <laughs> she wanted to test the waters, I think, perhaps. Uh. Yeah, I think. If you like, if you if you've ever been in a company, it's a bit like a family. So it's not just a, I don't Actually, just do a, a show to do a, a show. I definitely I just want to be a part of that company. So it was quite important to me to get to know people, right. see if the people you actually want. You spend a lot of time with these people, you know. Mm. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I went and worked backstage in Beauty and the Beast, and that was lovely. Oh. They were all so welcoming. So yeah, I pretty and it was much auditioned straight after. Wonderful show. It was a yeah. wonderful oh, it was show. Awesome. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. And I always say a company's a bit like a necklace. Each shows a pearl on it. And I think that's important to remember. It's the company you join, not just the show. Yeah, definitely. And um, I think that's the thing. You do shows that perhaps don't always excite you to the nth degree. They always excite you because you're with the people who you want to be with. Mm. Yeah. That's the difference. That's what a company is, not just the show. No, I love that analogy. Thank you. And, you know, um, as you're talking about the company and as a family, which is really rich, obviously in in, in history, mm-hmm. in the history of, of of the company, could you just could you just tell us a little bit, both of you, about your background in performance? Like, what 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 made you step into that world? Oh wow! Uh, we were talking about this before we came here. Yeah, Good. we did. So for the yeah. grand, I was trying to cast my mind back. I first performed here when I was about six or seven years old, and it Love was. It. I'm trying to remember. It was with Catherine Taggart. Uh, dance company and they used to rehearse in in Finchfield at St Columbus Church and they had their annual dance show here every year and that's how I got into dancing it's all like the traditional yeah tap modern disco it used to be called back then um, I've still got some videotapes that's how old yeah, I am oh, of those shows I've still got oh, them oh maybe you could give us some yeah, of them for I've some of the them. <laughs> yeah that's kind of my my history of the grand started there um, do you want to well I started as an audience member I went to the royal school and um, Bilson Operatic very kindly offered tickets to the Royal School and I went and came and see, saw a few of their shows and one of the shows I saw had a wonderful woman called Linda Creswell and I fell in love with her and uh, years and years later I found out that she was doing Dolly and Hello Dolly oh. so I came along to be a male dancer 
That was interesting. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I love this. Never, never, he hasn't never, stopped dancing <laughs> since. <laughs> well, I'm doing my grade yeah, five exactly. ballet exam soon. Um, don't give up. Don't give up. Even if <laughs> Marilyn Harris did write on my feet R and L. <laughs> Do you know what that so, stands for? Yes. <laughs> left and right. Absolutely. But notice I said right and left. I know, back I to know. front. I know you said it back to front. I love this. Mm. So I uh, just to, just to just go a little bit deeper with so when you when when did you first what was perform your first on the stage? Yes. Hello Dolly. I think it was oh. 1979 Gosh, 78 something like that. Wow. Um but um yeah, I was a male dancer and they used to tease me because I couldn't drive them. And they asked us to um, bring our own props to do the numbers. And there's the um, the warehouse scene where we're all, you know, going, woo, 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 you know, and all this. And they said, could you bring a broom or something? So I brought a broom. I was the only one who brought a broom. <laughs> <laughs> and not more than that, I did it on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> so there I was going along bus. to rehearsal with my broom. And oh um, my yeah, and that same joy and enthusiasm yeah. comes into West Brom as well. Oh, I mean, wow. I've been very fortunate uh, to actually join West Brom. Um, I remember sort of saying, I'd like to join and all that. And um, yeah, they let me join. Yeah. Oh, that is amazing. Carry on. Yeah. No, I was just going to say my first full scale kind of musical here would have been with um, with Muscom. I was with Muscom for many years, about 10 years actually. And that was, that's I where think, I met her. Yeah, yes. that's where we met. I think it was Guys and Dolls was the first show I did with them. Um, but they gave me my first leading role, which was um, Millie in Thoroughly Modern was Millie. Was that your first leading role? Yeah. Oh well, apart from God. school productions. Okay, you know, yeah, no, but yeah, yeah, go on. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. That was and amazing. that was here. Yeah, and, and that was here. what was amazing about that was that, I hope you don't mind me mentioning no. this, Tash, is that it's the first black Millie I ever saw. Yeah. And listen, yeah. I am glad, <laughs> Nicholas, that you're mentioning. Yes. No, and I think it's important. It is. It's it very is. important. It's very it, it, important. It worked brilliantly. I unfortunately wasn't in that show. Yeah. But you were, we were in the show. Oh, I was in the show. <laughs> <laughs> backstage. He was, he was I was doing the props and I got all the prop team doing all the routines backstage while they were doing it on the front. We had a brilliant time. Well, it's not what on you stage, said. we're backstage. It's, it's oh, like yeah. you said, it's a family. Yeah. So oh, no matter yeah. what. Well, you should be all involved at all levels. Not everyone does yeah. that, but um, I think those who do get the most from it. Mm. But going back to what you said, there wasn't... Um, it's good to mention it because there wasn't a lot of like colorblind casting, whatever they call it, back back then. Yeah. And I, I do think back and think, God, what confidence I had as a twenty-year-old. Yeah. I was great, like wildly confident in my twenties to have just gone for random roles. That I think it comes from my family as well. Yeah. And you know, like having yeah. Jamaican parents, they're just like, you can do everything. You, you can, can do anything. A, you, you can, can be, be anything you want. Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, I'll do that part. She said uh, for being a star. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just went for all kinds of wild things, and I look back and I think, wow, I did that. Um, and obviously, like the Dorothy thing that I did as well. I mean, I look back and think, what on earth was I thinking walking through that door doing that? Hang on, <laughs> Tashika. You just before just she goes on about the Dorothy just thing, that in that. <laughs> and I just say, I went along to actually audition for Mrs. Mears. They weren't that enlightened. <laughs> <laughs> it took a few, <laughs> took a few more years. It took a few, a few more, more years. years. But yeah. back to Dorothy because that's Let's where we became real. I was just amazing. about to say. Yeah. I, was, I was just about to say you can't just drop that little thing. You know, it's the Dorothy thing. thing. <laughs> let's let's tell our viewers Sorry. and uh, you know um, and our listeners a little bit about that because that was for us as well you know being from the midlands seeing you um do that we were so proud oh, i was like ah, man, you oh, she, it was just you. it's that it's moment. so nice that people still talk about it because oh, we don't talk about lot, it in a didn't it? <laughs> just for, for many many reasons oh, it meant did. lots of reasons just midlands ethnicity yes promise of people yeah it was just brilliant. Female lead, Aww. you know, yeah, yeah, everything. And yeah. that all stemmed Talk from us. here, actually. Yeah. And, doing, and doing that show and doing the show, like Millie, and thinking, yeah. actually, I can do this. And I remember the um, the auditions coming up, and it was my mum that called me. It was on that, that same morning, and she said, you know that Angela Webber's doing these? Because I watched the one previously, which was, um, what was it? Maria. Was Maria, Maria, that was it. Yeah. I remember seeing that and thinking, that's the one I should have done, but never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And my mum called me that morning and she said, you are going, aren't you? And I was like, oh, it's in Manchester. And I'd only just passed my driving. No, that's a lie. That's, that's a lie. I hadn't just passed. That was something else. Yeah. I hadn't, I wasn't very confident driving on the motorway. That's what it was. Yeah. And I said, mum, I'm not driving to Manchester. And she said, just get in that bloody car. <laughs> get to Manchester <laughs> and do that audition. So I was like, you know what? I am going to go. Cool. And thank God that I did. Because, it, yeah, it was absolutely incredible. And when she experience. got accepted, I bought... 12 cards with rainbows on them. <laughs> I've still got them. <laughs> and I sent her presents and 
like little shoes. You did, yeah, yeah. all these little memorabilia and, and stuff. Uh, I still got them in my office. Unfortunately, I, I had four cards left. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. quite emo. I, honestly, <laughs> the fact that you and I still have three of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's the love, the love that is emitting from you mm. both for for the for your craft, for for your your art, and for each other is just palpable. It's oh, amazing, you. and actually, that is the glue for our yeah. for our industry. Yeah. You know, you've yeah. got to love it because there's a. It can be difficult. It can be weighty. It is and it's very precarious. You know, like doing an amateur. You, exactly <laughs> what doing something like that competition. I mean, uh, th that was um, finding Dorothy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, and doing something like that is is not no. It's not an easy feat. Especially being from the Midlands, and we we're not always oh, on gosh, the map, no, are we? You know, you with don't our accent, us. exactly. Like country, you know, exactly. very proud on it, aren't we? We're proud on it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm with you on that. I was just so thrilled, and I loved watching all the episodes leading up to the mm. final girls, and how you just on the cusp mm. of that. But it didn't matter because she's a star. Exactly, and always will be a star. Well, we know <laughs> we know that it's not about the end result. It's 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 not about the end result of the competition, so to speak. It's about the longevity of your career. So. And so many people in that series have gone on, didn't win it, oh, but yeah. gone on to have roles. Doing in all sorts. They're all theatre, film, fantastically well. Yeah, yeah they yeah. are. I mean, it was different for me. I was one of the older ones, anyway. Um, with twins with twins yeah. But yeah the babies were two three three years old at the time yeah. so it was fantastic it was almost like wrong timing for me because I was getting all these fantastic um, opportunities but I just couldn't I couldn't yeah. say yes to them yeah. so um, after a couple of auditions and things I kind of had to make that decision yeah. to yeah Go back and be with my, be with my babies. Yeah. And I've never regretted that. No. They always tell me off. They still tell me off now uh, for doing that. But um, Oh, no. No, no it was the right thing to do. to do. I wanted to be with, at home with my, yeah. with my children, and I don't regret that job. at all. Yeah. And I've got, I've got a full-time job. I'm in the corporate world now. Yeah. I love it. I absolutely <laughs> love it. So, and I wouldn't be doing that now if I hadn't done that. So, yeah. But And we keep it at those things that give us a passion, that give yeah. us a breath of inspiration, literally go and do our jobs by actually doing oh, the things 100%. that we do in the theatre. Yeah. I took, um, I was a head teacher for 25 years, and that's a very demanding job and a very demanding community, which I loved. I stayed 25 years. You've got to love something for <laughs> 25 years. Yeah. And um, I got the children involved in the theatre because of my passion for it. But it actually kept me good at my job. I was, it was an outstanding school, and I think part of the reason why it became an outstanding school was because literally this inspired me, and I could... Hopefully, I don't hope this sounds too big at it, inspire others to give of their best. And it's not about being the star. It's what you said at the very beginning. It's about being part of the whole. And I did lots of productions with the youngsters at school. Um, and uh, they all had a part to play. I mean, even in the reception and nursery class, doing the nativity, they moved their own scenery. They, 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 they oh, didn't do the lights. They had so to important. wait till they were uh, year one for that. <laughs> had to wait for year one. You know, you've got to have some goals. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, they did it themselves and the adults let them do it yeah. and they just thrived. And I think that's the thing about theatre, about performance, about these things. It's not all about X Factor. It's not oh, all gosh, about no. being the star. Yeah. It's actually about being involved yeah. and having that energy, that literally that breath, that inspiration, And that those passion. life skills you talk about that yeah, it gives on. you in your, normal, yeah. in your normal life. We were having a little chat before we came here and I can actually align um, sort of pro you know, progression in my own career to doing certain parts in theatre, or yes. it's giving you that sort of that confidence that you it doesn't you, can, you can't get that from anywhere else. And you can't really. Well, we find it's a shame to hear of all the cuts to the arts. That's and, you it. know, It's not uh, just about the show. The it's not about the part. It's what it gives you. And you know, at work at the moment, you'll know you're theatre people. You're always mm. known as the you know, the extroverts. And, the you know, the mm. but we're not just that actually. No. It's because we've got things like that, like the theatre. Um, we get that that. And, the power and that it's it gives all you, that the energy. other people who are yeah. there with you. It's just not those on yeah, the stage. Yeah, it's yeah. those we've both said we have worked backstage. Oh, yeah. It's the whole caboodle. Mm -hmm. I mean, I performance is my preference. I'll be honest, oh, but yeah. I have enjoyed doing other activities backstage and other things. And actually, knowing how to do that helps you, I think, to become a more considerate and actually better performer and actor by actually having that understanding of the whole thing and that's what I try to do with kids at school yeah. there's no such thing that, of course there are people with the big parts and the leads um, of course there is but that's fine but actually 
it's the little boy who brought the chair on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the girl who's on the desk doing the lights. Yeah. It's the people it's who the make the tea. Oh, uh, it, it's <laughs> all those. I was just yeah. talking about the kids, oh, but yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's true. But that never it's changes. True. And they're all valuable. They've all got a part to play. Yeah. And that's the thing I like about being in a company like West Brom and a company like Bilston and recently a company I did, uh, My Fair Lady with Bridge North Musical Theatre Company. Mm. It's that that is it. It's the, it. Coming back to that, it's the necklace. Yeah. yeah, it's the necklace, which I love that. Yeah. I love you know? that. Mm. I'll get me a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> well, so everything's a family. pearl, isn't it? Might be made from a little bit of grit, but everything's a pearl. Everything's <laughs> a pearl. No, I mean, just the way you are both talking about, um, you know, your work. It's obvious amateur dramatics. You know, the theatre world for you is very important to you. What both. does amateur mean? Well, I don't. Uh, you tell to me. To love. It's from Latin to love. I didn't know. That. That, Did you not? No. no. Oh, yeah. Amateur. Well, ammo. Amas, amas. So this I is love, an educational love. podcast. Thank you very much. Well, uh, gosh, always, always true to my term. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I can't help myself. Teacher. But that's what it means. Thank it's you. love. Oh, and I think, I think that we meet professionals. Of course they have to love it. Because what you said earlier, the amount of knocks and rejections yeah. Yeah. and upset, but then the rewards, which we're sharing, I think you can hear it in our voices yes. and in our body language, the rewards are... Just incredible, and I keep coming back to the word inspiring, inspiration, breath. Yeah. That's that's the thing. It, it, it's 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 so important. It, it is. It's vital actually. Well, and we know that you love the yes. theatre. Yeah. Because of course you mentioned that your first show here was Hello Dolly, nineteen seventy nine. Yeah. Of course, very important date. Yeah, it is a very important date because the it? next year. Yes. Dun, 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 <laughs> the theatre shut. Yeah. I was yeah. devastated. It's got. I, was, mm. I thought, oh my god, I joined it all. Um, yeah. But I was devastated. But that didn't mean I sat back and took it on. Mm. Bilston as a company were very vociferous, very proactive. A guy called Mike Jennings and lots of other people really got involved. And I, I got involved. And there's a picture of um, them all standing outside, the, say, the Grand Prix, standing outside mm. the theatre. I'm just off shot. <laughs> but What's I was your, there. Or is it your arm? It's just <laughs> in it. I think it's yeah. something like, I was just there. But more importantly, it was going to the council, the, the, off the meetings, the council meetings, and the passion that was in that room, you think, this is passionate. God, you should have been in that room. The passion to keep this theatre alive, to keep it going. I'm so glad that we did that, because it was only something to do with a penny on the rates, and they did a deal. Oh, really? Yeah, it was, it's very simple in many, many ways to a solution. Times are hard. I know Birmingham's going through a horrendous yeah, time yeah. at the moment, but I hope that they find it in their hearts to find the ability to keep their wonderful institutions going. And it makes us blessed to know that this, in a sense is safe from those pressures because mm. it's now independent, yes. isn't it? Mm. And that gives it the the ability to keep going and to keep thriving, which it has done for many years now. Well, it's people-powered. Mm. Yes, what exactly. What yeah, yeah, talking yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. is, you know, that activism, yeah. it's people-powered. Mm-hmm. And that's really, gen- that's, 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 that's the original generator. <laughs> yes, <laughs> if it wasn't for you, know, you and those people back then, would we be sat here now? Well, no, absolutely. you wouldn't. You would. And would we be sitting in such a beautiful theatre? Right. I mean, this wonderful theatre, 1894, it's still here. It's amazing. What I look back to, again, we were talking, and I didn't say this to you, it was the innocence of us at the oh. time when we did this. When you think today how with Facebook, Instagram, and all the vehicles oh, yeah. that you can actually make things happen. We didn't have those things yeah. then. We only had this yeah. and us. And, that's, and that, that was so powerful in itself and yet so innocent. There was a lovely woman called June Parrish who kept saying, I've got a second-hand washing machine we can use for um for a, oh. a, a for a prize in a in a in a in a in a, in a what do you call like it? A raffle. Maybe. Yes, a yeah, raffle, yeah, yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. Or a lottery sort of thing. Which oh bless. But even then, but it was yeah. that sort of desire, yeah. that heartfelt desire to keep it going. We will do anything. Yeah, yeah. And I think that made it very powerful, but it's also very innocent times. It was very much what you just said, yeah. driven by people. Yeah. I lo- I, I I love that and I think you can feel that mm. uh, within the grand, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can. Um, and I think you know, legacy with, with still there. The legacy is definitely rich here, just like the decor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, absolutely. It's gorgeous. And using young people, which you've tried and succeeded in doing, and building and layering into that because you build for the future. I think that was one thing that didn't happen too much in the past when I was yeah. younger. I think now yeah. that, that people now recognise that it's only by putting an investment of any sort into the younger people that will then manifest itself in the support 
with them when they're older. Yeah. And that's a long, long, long process. It could be 20, 30 years before you get a return. Yeah. But if we're going to keep our theatre alive, we need to ensure we embrace and become more inclusive. And that's what, just bringing this back, that's what I liked about the companies we work with. They are inclusive, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, very much so. Yeah, um, you know, they do include people. And I've been in companies where people haven't been included. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, and, um, <laughs> and, and um, I'm just very proud to be a member of West Brom, proud to be a member of Bilston because they yeah. both have a long tradition and they still perform here. Mm-hmm. Wow, yeah. wow. So, Which segues nicely. Love <laughs> we love a segue. We love it's a segue. We, yeah. we love a <laughs> segue. <laughs> Please if they go, if they go into, into a premiere, <laughs> yeah. into a yes. premiere, a world, world premiere, world. not just an yeah. English yeah. premiere, yeah. a world, world premiere. Are you to my serious? knowledge, no, to theater. our knowledge, to yeah. our knowledge. Yeah, we don't know. If if anyone does know, let us know. Yeah, yeah, yeah let yeah, us yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. We're wrong. We're wrong. We'll admit it. But uh, we're the first so amateur. Te- so we, we're, we're saying all this, but without actually saying what we're yeah. talking about. Yeah. So could you share with, you know, with our audience? What is it we're talking about? What is a world? Oh, he's <laughs> ready. So from Wednesday the 1st <laughs> yes. until Saturday the 4th of May, please come and watch West Bromwich Amateur, actually, West Bromwich Theatre Company Yes, do Love Never Dies. Andrew Lloyd Webber's Love Never Dies. Wow. Lots of connections here. Wow. You know, her doing Over the Rainbow. Mm. Yes. This yeah. company having done a Vita with the youth group, Jesus. Christ, uh, not Jesus Christ Superstar, um, Joseph and the Mel- Mortic, we did Jesus Christ Superstar, yes. the older ones. Um, and Cats, we did Cats oh. a few years back. Oh, God. That was <laughs> so fantastic. It was incredible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I think the relationship we have with Andrew Lloyd Webber's music is a strong one, and we're just so privileged. And thank you to those people who made it happen, yeah. both in the company and, and um, Andrew Lloyd Webber's company, allowing us to do this sequel to, Love ne- to The Phantom oh. of the Opera, Love yes. Never Dies. I do think it's important to make people realise it's not in any way a repeat of Phantom. Not at all. No. It is literally a sequence. And like novels, very often you have a bestseller and people have great expectations of the second one. Yes. And they don't quite live up to it. I think that would be unfair with this because I think it does live up to it, but it's different. Yes. It's I think about you just need to forget about it in, yeah. in a way. Like, yeah. Yeah. You don't it, need it takes to know the best, Phantom. It's like the yeah. best essence of what was before into this and production, but you don't say need to know into it, but you don't. Need, but it's not yeah. the original Phantom. It's 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 a very richer in many ways. Deep show. It's about mm-hmm. dreams that are they going to be realised? And I think that's the thing. It's that poignancy to it. it mm-hmm. Are these dreams of all these main characters we saw on Phantom? Do they actually have an ending? Wow. Do they have an ending? And they're all there. Oh, they're really? all in it. These Gosh. characters, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Look, yeah. I want to come and watch I, it. Well, <laughs> well, one of the problems of being in things, you don't get to see them. I'm in it. I will. I'm. I'm going to be rocking oh, up make sure with you. all of my people. Make I'm sure so sure. excited to see this because, of oh. course, even the productions that have been previous, the West End production. Yeah. It hasn't yet toured the UK, this no, show, not has it? I think no. it was an Australian production. So Which is the one we're doing. That's yes. the version we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. unless you yeah. live on that side have of the world. Have you seen it at all? No, I've never Neither seen it. Neither have I. I've never seen it. I think a lot of people have heard some I've of the music. Yeah, yeah. of course. Um, from the show. And it's a strong it's, story. Yeah. And it's... Um, it's ten years later, isn't it? It's ten years, ten later, years later. We see Christine. We see Raoul. We see the Phantom. We see Meg, we see her mother, we see all these people, and another little person. And another well, little person. And we Lots see this all ten, ten years yeah. later. Um, I'm not one of those. I'm actually perhaps very important in the sense that we're the atmosphere creators. Yeah. We're the ones that actually create the mood of this yeah. new world that they're in. And um, the ensemble is a very strong ensemble. You'll see amazing things happening with them. But uh, here's a principle. <laughs> so t- tell us, um, uh, Tashiki, tell us a little bit about the process of, of what, what you have to do, um, you know, in terms of rehearsals or whatever, for a show like uh, this. Just give this us an one, idea. This is completely different, I think, to yeah, anything yeah. that we've done before. Well, and, and just in but general. This has, you, yeah. The it's not predictable. No. And actually, you think the show is unpredictable. Go on, sorry, tell No, me. I was just going to say, it's, um, it's a little bit more intense. Mm. Obviously, it's an opera. Yeah. It is an opera, and that's something that we've not done before as well um so that's there's a challenge in that itself but as you were saying there's not really a, a clear connection i think it to stands on its before. own but it actually so you really saves you and continues yeah so you but have to take those characters to one side and and decide who who are you so i'm playing flet which is one of the freaks 
And the way that I see it is those who are fan- fans of Phantom, you know, he was always that character that was... Um, Phantom this is. Yeah, um, a bit unloved, an outsider, a bit of a misfit. Yeah. Yes. You know, people didn't really understand That's what him. made him he romantic, different. despite the fact that he's a psychopathic killer. But anyway, We won't on. go into that. <laughs> <laughs> but he's created this special and safe world for people who are just like him, and that's the way I see it. So they're called the freaks, but actually I think he's gone out and he's created this really safe, loving environment for people to come and perform yep. Yep. in this place. And that's how I see it. I don't yeah, know yeah. if you think that's... Well, I sort of join that word for part of that, but I'm actually interested enough, the spectator, yeah. A, yeah. A, a, a patron of this world. Yeah. So I get to get the, the advantages of both. But you ask the question about how do you prepare for it. They're working very, very hard. Mm. There's lots of rehearsal time lots of thought and effort being put into how the roles work how it's going to be because it being new there's no set for it there's no costume for it yeah. we're actually having to do all this ourselves everything from scratch and it's from scratch yeah. and that's what makes it a very so exciting no one will have seen procedure. anything no. that we do it's completely no. unique mm. everything yeah and i, so, so I think that will show. be unique for this theater i mean mm. what a wonderful thing for this to happen here yeah. and quite rightly too you know um well. it's just exciting and we want people who come and see it to be excited how but not long to is your the rehearsal? Oh, 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 sorry, I shouldn't have really. Been <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> yeah, been it's, just, it's just good for people to know a little yeah. bit about how you know what to you know what you what you do to prepare. So it takes a good a good six months, doesn't it? Yeah, it's 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 pretty yeah. intensive. Um, because of the think yeah, people are well, they're working. You know, people have got day jobs, and so we're only meeting once a week, twice if you've if you've got you know a leading role. So there's a lot to pack in in that one night. So you were doing all sorts of things, going through all of the music. There's a huge onus on the principals on this yeah, particular yeah. show, so they have double, if not more, work to do in many ways. They've got a huge task ahead of them, yeah. and uh, they're meeting it extremely well. And there's wonderful dancing as well. There's, oh, you know, yeah, which of course. West Brom are fantastic for. Of course, um, yeah. but um, it's the acting as well. I mean, our producer Simon. Has, um, and Claire, our choreographer, and the numbers we've been doing with the ensemble have been very clear about it's just not the movement, it's no. the expression and the mood being created that with the movement. And I'm actually here doing what they're sort of saying to mm. us. I suddenly realised I was actually mm. doing that with my hands. It's getting that to come across the footlights, creating this world that the phantom created for the people who are there. But you see, it's that duality. You're a watcher, but you're part of it. And that's the, sort of the same thing we want the audience to feel like. They're watching it, but they're part of it. Really just like yeah, we're, it's we are. It's I mean, they, they put And then, an, obviously, on. I'm going to say, sitting behind that is that whole the story that we all love, you know, unrequited love and, yeah. you know, the love that you want but can't have or shouldn't or have. Or shouldn't have. Um, <laughs> we, we, all, we all love a bit of that, don't we? <laughs> and, and that romance yeah. of the first one is oh, still yeah. there, but it's in a yeah. very different it's very mood. very different. And yeah. um, it's darker. I'll make no bones about yeah. it. It's darker. Yeah. I mean, you can almost see from the... From um, the actual... The yeah. That, yeah. that we're trying to create that. that uh, while Phantom, I think it was dark to begin with, but I think over the years it, it became much more bright. And it yeah. did have the brightness, like the masquerade number. Yeah. We have numbers that are similar, but because of them being in a freak show, yes. they're off kilter. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that eccentricity, that slight dissonance yeah. comes in and I think I think that's why he's so brilliant he doesn't repeat he never repeats what he yeah. does Andrew Lloyd Webber he always creates or recreates something that is new and different I mean cats Jesus Christ Superstar <laughs> Avita well, oh, oh and that's yeah. coming back oh, yeah. I can't it's wait to see yeah. it I saw that as a young I person I love, like, love yeah, it I like, <laughs> love it I ever saw yeah. in the West End immersive theatre is nothing new let me tell you no, Starlight Express no. was, was totally cool. immersive maybe that's one for the future oh my get your skates oh, on yeah. 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 Oh, my I, think, I think on that one I might have to pass but I can skate I love your energy your passion it comes across and and if if Listening to you and feeling your energy is anything to go by. Listen, this is going to be everybody. Mm, this is going to be Flash a it up. seller. <laughs> 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 Listen, you, 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 you spends too much time with me. Jamaican, <laughs> 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 so here, can you see? Can you see it here? Let's see. Yeah, brilliant. Um, love and love never dies. <laughs> That's it. Yes. And there's such clever little bits in the show as well, which. Um, make sure you hear subliminally the message i'm not going to spoil that mm. but they're all it's so clever it's so deep and dense while i think phantom and summer was more clear in its narrative this is a little bit more complex it demands a little bit more of its audience and um i hope that they're rewarded with what we're 
trying to present. Yeah, I think there will I'm be sure because will. You, you, yeah, you've you you you. you, you putting so much work into this you betcha um, yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to kind of wrap it no. up now. oh no oh, and we've hey. had such a great time leave them wanting more that's <laughs> what we <laughs> do we always <laughs> well thank you oh, for oh, yeah, no, thank but you for the before opportunity before you go oh, okay. we have yes. a tradition on our we new po- podcast okay. that we've just created yeah. you know and we're, but we're, we're going with it <laughs> and oh, this, I'm a prepper so yeah, I'm, oh. no, oh, this one is no prep oh god okay everybody has to have no prep for this. So okay. you're in the same boat. Yeah. But you've got there's two of you. You've got together. The two of you, yeah. So what we're saying is to all of our podcast guests is that the challenge is we don't have a jingle for our podcast, do we? No, we don't. So all we want you to do is yeah, look at his eyes. <laughs> you have to make I your love own. Love it. <laughs> so we just want you to come up. What's with, it called? So it's called the um, Wolverhampton Grand Theatre Spotlight Podcast. You can use any of those words, oh, wow. but try and get Grand Theatre in it. Yeah. Try and get podcast in it. And spotlight. 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 spotlight Maybe spotlight. you could do it in the style of um, Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> yeah. But you don't have. Don't think about it too much because everybody was put on it's the off spot. The cuff. <laughs> off the cuff. So you've got know. Spotlight. Go on, go on, Tash. Do you want to go first? Do you want to? I was going to go. Um, I'm this already. You ready? Yeah. Are you ready. The Grand Theatre. Da 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 da. Spotlight podcast. Yes! <laughs> I love that. And I realised that actually isn't Landry Lord Webber. No, no. But well, it doesn't matter because it was dramatic. It was dramatic. You know, exactly. you got it. Da, 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 da. Spotlight. That's the one I was going for. Yeah. We'll, we'll add that you in for you. You can't steal that, by the way. Come on, come on. Here we go, go. Here we go, come on. Spotlight theatre grand. Doing come and see it. Love. And on that note, we say thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. The phantom himself. I feel like the the opera ghosts are here. Ian Room will kill me. (laughs) (laughs) No, honestly, it has been. been, a pleasure. Yes, it's been an absolute joy to listen to you. Your passion, wonderful. Thank you for being out Thank you for making us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really we can't wait to see the show. And so thank, thank you for you. And thank you to everyone at home for listening and watching along. And we'll see you in the next one. See you. Bye. bye.